yeah good day people welcome again today to AGIT codeworks and this is our sixth tutorial on the series web application development using php and mysql where we are still learning how to build awesome web applications okay and um, today we'll be looking at an interesting one and the topic we are going to be treating today is something called cookies cookies here we go all right so first of all what's a cookie all right let me approach it this way the 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 most likely experience the user watching this tutorial would have heard of cookies would be you would visit a site and you notice a particular prompt that says um accept this cookie accept cookie it helps us give you blah 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 a good experience on the site and you accept it what are those cookies okay what you've basically done is that you've given the, dev the developers of the site access to store small snippets or small pieces of data or code on your pc to help gives you a better browsing experience on their site or to make using their application a lot easier okay another example if you visited a web a website and then you logged in you put in your login credentials or even an app and then it, it says remember me on this device okay so cookie has a lot to do a lot to do with trusting the developers of the site or the developers of the application that is why they are mandated to get your permission before they can use cookies on your site and we're going to be looking today looking into how to use these cookies properly as a developer all right so when you check that remember me icon or, or the remember me checkbox so to say um they store your they you allow the web application or the website to track and identify your particular pc so the next time you visit you will not have to log in with a username or a password but remember this is the pc the owner allowed us and of course this should be done when you have proper password authentication on your pc itself i, I just have to put in that because that's a very important information to have okay so um so that happens because first of all convenience most users say remember me on the site so that they can the convenience of not needing to type the username and the password repeatedly so cookies is what helps web applications track that information okay so um first of all how the cookies originate uh cookies were invented by a guy called lou montuli lou montuli in 1994 that's a story for another day it's, the story is not so relevant to programming so i'll just move on from there but just in case you need to know who to blame for seeing those cookie prompts <laughs> Okay, uh, no pun intended. No pun intended on Lou Montelli. All right, so let's get to business. What are the objectives of this particular program now? We are going to be looking at what cookies are, okay, which we've done a little bit of it. Okay, and uh, just to recap, I mentioned that cookies are little um, pieces of data a developer stores in a PC for two reasons. Please take note tracking and identification. Okay, so we'll also look at how to set cookies on your site visitors when people visit your page and they give you a username or a password and you want your app to remember it and help them out with the login later we'll look at that too then we're going to be looking at two types of cookies two types of cookies session cookies and persistent cookies a quick one here i'll just say what they mean and what they are now a session cookie from the word session a session is you can call a session when you log into your browser or started your browser to the end of after you finished using it that's a session so a session cookie is a cookie that is deleted from your pc once the browser is closed it lasts just for that browsing session okay but a persistent cookie is a persistent cookie the developer could keep on your pc for let's say for a whole day or for one year or for a specific number of months depending on what the developer is trying to achieve so that's what session cookies are and persistent key session cookies are removed from your pc once you turn off your browser or once you close the browser session but persistent cookies stay on your pc longer for example a developer could specify that this cookie could be on this pc for a year or for one month i will show us how to build both type of cookies then lastly we're going to do something practical something a bit interesting we're going to see how we can use cookies to remember and identify a user's device so we are going to be building a simple login form okay a login form that we would use to simulate a simple login but after the login we can track the user's um 
username and password so that whenever he visits our site all over again he just has them there without them to type it again that's an experience i'm sure most of you have had all right let's get coding okay first of all let's look how to create a cookie in php all right first things first i will make sure my exam server is started okay start apache and start my sql it's my so my database server is running and my web server is running and please by the way just a point to mention here if you do not have the zamp server installed on your pc or your environment is not yet set up please on this same playlist on this youtube channel you, you can go to the first video do a setup and then follow through the tutorials up till now that will be very helpful all right um so let's get coding all right okay so now i open my notepad plus plus and i'll save this file as first of all i go to agit codeworks and i'll save this file as test cookies.php okay save so we have our cookie class so first things first we create our php tag all right so now if you want to set a cookie on a pc <coughs> all right so use the in php you can set cookies on a pc using the set cookie function all right the set cookie function now the set cookie function takes two arguments one is the name of the cookie let's say it's an email address i want to hold it as a cookie i can say email and then the email is let's say george at gmail.com so george just visited and we saved his information in a cookie now this you see here will be a session cookie why is it a session cookie? Because I did not specify how long it will be on the PC. So this is a regular session cookie. The meaning is simple. That means it gets deleted from the browser or from your PC, from your PC, when you close your browser session. All right. So let's say we also need his password or his whatever ID, password, whatever. So we say password. Mm, password is george1234 so we've already created a cookie two cookies by the way so in this in when this code runs this line will make sure the email is saved as a cookie on this pc the password is also saved as a cookie on this pc it's also possible for us to use it that at his next login we can reference these cookies and just impute his username and his password for him or even do a login for him ourselves of course as a matter of convention the user of the website has to have um, agreed to a prompt that says allow us to use cookies on your pc all right so after setting the cookie now let's display the information in the cookie of course in php echo is used for displaying information so let's just say echo right so to display cookies the information in cookies there is a super global variable you would use if you don't know what a super global variable is you can go back to my previous tutorial on variables on this same series and you will clear that on that i will drop a link on all that in the description all right so dollar sign underscore cookie <coughs> sorry about that so which cookie do i want to display that would be the email cookie here so i want to print out this email cookie okay i need a space space it out space it out um then the next one i will display would be the password all right so just a little recap a little recap when i run the set cookie function here it tracks my user email whatever email the user typed in I, will, I could store it in his pc for later use whenever he visits the site now you should start understanding why um, website developers will tell you it helps us give you a better experience using our site anyways so they say all right um so i will also track the password here in a cookie in his pc this is the password this is the key and this is the value okay so email is this password is this to print it out the dollar sign underscore, underscore cookie 
is the super global variable we are using to locate the email and then here to locate the password all right let's see what happens when we run this mm -mm 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 -mm. okay i right click full file path to clipboard while i do this full file path to clipboard thing is to just avoid typos so i just get to my browser then all i have to do is just just type in this here and then from here from htdocs backwards i can put the server ip address or just local host since it's running locally on my pc all right let's run this code mm, what do you notice it's an error message but guess what is it undefined index email when i refresh it bam it works why didn't it work at first and why that refresh and it works okay it takes a little bit of a few seconds to get the a cookie created and stored okay usually cookies are not just meant for being displayed like this so when i ran the code the file was still being created it was creating a file on my pc to store the cookies in so that was, that was why it did not show but when i refreshed it they were created and they were there so it's now stored on my pc so even when i say okay let's comment this part out that means please this comment here simply means this code does not exist no more in fact we could delete it completely right so cookies were no longer created here but guess what if i refresh my browser they're still there it's still being displayed whereas if it was regular variables it would no longer be displayed okay but that's simply because this is a session cookie already created in the previous execution of the file so that would mean that even if i did not close the browser even if i once i have not closed this window here once it's not closed this cookie remains in this session so it's a session cookie by the way all right so now i decide to close my browser right open it up again Let me copy this open up my, my browser again because this is a session cookie it's no longer stored in the system so let me let's put that to the test so i say local host i run it undefined index email why it could it can no longer find the email cookie or the password cookie i refresh i refresh i refresh and it's still not there okay so this is a session cookie all right let's see the other one which is a persistent cookie if you remember in the in the slide session we went through i talked about session cookies and persistent cookies so now we are going to look at persistent cookies now all right um Mm -mm -mm. all right persistent cookies so let's make these cookies persistent now that would mean sorry all right that would mean that while creating the cookie i would just have to specify the length of time it takes for the cookie to leave the pc so as a developer you have to understand that when you store a cookie on your on a on a, on a visitor's pc um your code can determine how long the cookie stays on the pc so i might as well put a cookie on your pc and say to stay for four years or it could stay for one day or it will stay for 30 minutes one year or whatever length of time let's see how that works all right so you run the set cookie function first so let's also say it's email george george at gmail.com all right actually i have a friend called george more about him later anyway all right so set cookie i have the email set now the password password could still be whatever g1234 whatever okay so now because we want this to be a persistent cookie i would put a stored parameter here this would help me specify how long it takes before the cookie expires from the pc so what i'll do is first of all the logic for doing this first of all i get the time function in php this time function returns now in php then you add the time in seconds that you want the cookie to stay on the pc so this is now this time here returns now in nanoseconds this is now this returns now then add some number of seconds to it okay let's say i want my cookie to stay on the pc for let's say five minutes that would be 300 seconds 
so i would say 300 if i wanted to stay for a day in a day you have 86,400 seconds if you wanted to stay for a year i think in a year you have up to 31 million seconds or so 31 million five hundred and thirty six thousand or so to say so whatever length of time you want so let's use just five minutes so this is a cookie that will stay on this piece for five minutes so time plus 300 seconds that will be five minutes then this same five minutes all right let's do this so we display these same cookies here now let's see what happens on the browser now so we go to my browser let's refresh refresh again and then it created the cookies and it's displaying the content of the cookies all right so now even when the cookies are no longer set here they've been saved in a file in the pc okay so that's also the way session cookie works but now because they are now persistent cookies even when i close the browser once the five minutes is not yet elapsed the cookie basically stays on the pc so here i open my browser again and then um i run the code all over um all right guess what the cookies are still on the pc all right so until five minutes is elapsed, elapsed sorry this cookie stays on this pc all right so that this is what a persistent cookie looks like and this is what cookies do on your pc whenever you accept the terms and condition on the website for the website to use cookies on your pc now let's do a simple practical i think in our next tutorial let's carry that on, on to the next tutorial that will be like a part b of this same session in our next tutorial i will be showing you an actual login page on which we are going to demonstrate how to remember a username and a password on that session okay not on the session on that particular site whenever you visit it we we'll use the cookie we tracked to add your username and your password for us on our own uh that's what i have for you today i think that's the uh, last part of this tutorial so just watch out for the next session we are going to build a simple login form that will leverage cookies to remember users login credential just the way you have it on facebook and some of these other sites and please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video see you on the next tutorial where we are going to implement cookies on the login form have a wonderful rest of the day thank you